In this video, we're going to take a look at discounts and special pricing. Now, it's important to mention that this is only for Bright Pearl sales channels, in other words, over the phone or with Bright Pearl POS. Because if you're connecting to an e commerce store or a marketplace, it's that platform that defines the customer's price, not Bright Pearl. So, what we're going to cover are customer specific discounts, volume discounts when buying many items at once, ad hoc discounts when you're entering a sales order. Discounts as downloaded from e-commerce platforms to show you what they look like, and then using price lists for discounts, and finally a quick look at coupons for Brightpull POS. The first type of discounting is customer-specific discounting, and here we have a customer Eddie, who's got a 10% discount applied to his record, and that means that whenever I add products to sales for him, the 10% is automatically applied, which we can see here. The list price and discount are two extra columns that are added to sales if a customer has a discount. So let's go and add another item. Let's choose to add a Cisco Office Router. And you can see that the list price is $45.99. The 10% is automatically being applied, giving a $41.39 for this particular customer. That's really easy to set up. All you need to do is edit the contact record, and then in the Financial tab, scroll down and just add the discount in the discount field. You can also update customers in bulk by importing a spreadsheet in conjunction with the data map. The next type of discounting is volume discounting, sometimes called tiered pricing. So what I have here is a red bubble hat, and on the retail price I've created some volume discounts. So if a customer buys one, they pay 20. If they buy 10 or more, they only pay 1950. And if they buy 100 or more, they pay 19. So let's see how that works on a sales order. Let's add the item to the order, and there's the red bubble hat. 1 plus is coming in at 20. If the customer actually chooses 12, and I tab out of the field, you'll see this pop-up box appears, where the product from this particular price list has got certain volume discounts. The price for 12 of them is 1950, so clicking OK updates the product row to 1950. In a similar way, if we update this to 200 and then tab out, it gives us the price for 100 plus, which is 19. So that's done at the product level. If you wanted to combine customer discount and product discount, you could do so. And that takes us neatly onto the next type of discounting, which is adding ad hoc discounts to sales and purchase orders. Notice how there's no list price or discount columns here. They automatically appear when the customer has got a discount, but until you've actually turned them on, they won't appear for other orders. So to turn on the discount columns, go to Setup, Sales, Sales Settings, and then scroll down and choose Yes for Show List Price and Discount Columns on the Sale Edit screen, and that also applies to purchase orders. So next time you open an order, you'll see that you now have a list price and a discount column. The list price has been applied from the volume discounting or tiered price, or if you don't have tiered pricing, that's the standard unit price for the item, but then in here, you can type in any extra discount you might like. So for example, typing 20 in there reduces the price down to 1520. You can no longer edit the price field because you've set a discount which applies to the list price. If you want to edit the price directly, just delete the discount, which makes the price field editable again. You'll see that because I've now changed the price, the discount field has become non-editable. So if I wanted to put a discount in instead of an edited price, I need to make the price match the list price. So let's just put 1.9, add some decimal points, and you now see that the discount is now editable. Let's stick 50% in, which drops the price to 9.50. Now let's see what discounts look like on documentation, such as quotes and invoices. By default, you only see the final price paid on your templates. But what you can do if you want to is you can show the discount columns on this particular template. So let's go and edit the template, where at the bottom of the screen, we can choose a column set that includes discounts. Or of course, you can customize the columns, and there's a separate video that shows you how to do that. So let's save this template. If we revisit the template, you now see that we've got a price, a discount, and a final price paid column. Now let's look at a sale that's been downloaded from an e-commerce channel, perhaps a Shopify or Magento store. The customer has chosen a discount coupon, and what Bright Pearl has done is it's applied this as a MISC line item with a negative price. So the product is 20, discount of 5, total 
The account code used is the one that you choose in your accounting setup. So that's for things like coupons and gift vouchers and things that are separate line items. If your e-commerce store applies discounts in a transparent way that's not visible to BrightPearl, what you'll get on the BrightPearl order is simply the discounted price that the customer pays. For more detail on coupons and discounts from e-commerce platforms, make sure you have a look at the BrightPearl videos for those particular systems. Another way of applying discounts for customers or suppliers is by giving them a dedicated price list. So previously when we added items to this order, we used the retail price list. What I could do is actually I could choose a VIP customer price list, which I created earlier, and then next time we add the item, you'll see it comes in a bit cheaper. So previously on retail it was $20, but on the VIP price list it's $15. You can have as many customers or suppliers assigned to those price lists as you like. Finally, let's mention the coupon screen, which you get to from marketing, discounts and coupons. These are BrightPearl coupons that are only available to use on BrightPearl POS. And there's a separate video that shows you how to use coupons on point of sale. So what we've just covered are a number of different options. We've got customer specific discounts where you put a percentage on the contact record. You've got volume discounts on the product and you edit the product prices for that. You've got ad hoc discounts when entering a sales or purchase order and you need to turn on the list price and discount columns for that. And then discounts as we download them from e-commerce platforms and that's generally a line item. And then using price lists and finally coupons for BrightPearl point of sale. That's everything I have to show you around discounts and special pricing. Hopefully there's something in there that does what you need.